Fox 13 Chief Meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke has our first alert forecast. And Kristen, can we call today a bonus day in our weather? Oh, yeah, we really did get a bonus day. Now, if you live up towards the Idaho border, maybe not calling today a bonus day because that front's been just lingering there, but it did slow down, allowing us to get the sunshine going and our temperatures to go up a little bit higher. Uh, it wasn't as warm as yesterday, 10 degrees cooler today, but it felt warm just with that sunshine out there. Uh, I did want to pull up our pollen count and talk a little bit about the allergy season because it is that time of the year. It's the first of April, and I know it's on everyone's mind. So this is your allergy report. Uh, from Intermountain Allergy, and this is a count from uh, March 31st. So this was yesterday afternoon. Uh, so very similar conditions to basically what we're seeing today. And uh, we have seen an increase in the cottonwood pollen. In fact, that was at low levels just three days ago, and now that's up to high levels. And also the willow jumping up from low to medium levels. But cedar showing up on there, that is a tough one for a lot of folks. Elm also, sycamore, and mold all showing up on the allergy report. Uh, Temperature-wise, right now, we're in the 40s in far northern Utah, still hanging on to the 50s in Salt Lake City, and we've gone from the 60s to the 50s in Provo, still quite warm down in southern Utah, but the colder air is going to even move into southern Utah to bring temperatures back about 10 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Uh, satellite radar are showing the clouds are really increasing from northwest to southeast. In fact, even a few showers out towards Grand and Uinta counties, and then, of course, we have showers that are ongoing right now in far northern Utah, some rain rain and a rain snow mix up towards Cache County and then uh, southern Idaho. So even in the higher elevations, they're seeing some some snow, but nothing really. Uh, once you get to Ogden southward, we're all in the clear as far as the uh, shower activity goes for now. That won't be the case, though, later tonight after the sun goes down. A uh, Wasatch Front forecast for tomorrow. In fact, between about 5 and 8 a.m., we will have cloudy skies. Temperatures will only be in the mid-30s, and we'll have the chance for some snow. In fact, we'll see that snow chance moving in later tonight. It'll start off as rain but change into snow as temperatures drop and those highs tomorrow only in the low 40s. Uh, so future casts are showing as we head through the rest of the day today, uh, we will continue to see an increase in cloud cover, 930. Rain will be likely for the Wasatch Front, snow for the higher elevations, and then in the middle of the night, temperatures drop and then we see snow levels drop so that we'll have a chance for snow, even for the Wasatch Front. Mountains can see two to five inches and we will see maybe a dusting for the Wasatch Front. Uh, by the end of the day Thursday, we're clearing things out. We'll have sunshine, but notice the wind coming in from the north and west as a chilly wind for us. And so our temperatures uh, will be way below normal on Thursday, and we will keep them below normal through Friday before a nicer weekend ahead. So tomorrow morning, snow chances in the morning. We'll have temps in the 30s. Down south, we'll have sunshine and temperatures in the 50s. For the afternoon, we'll see mostly sunny skies. The showers clear out. Heading east, and we'll have the sunshine out. Temperatures, though, only in the low to mid-40s for the Wasatch Front. Southern Utah will drop back to the mid-60s, but still feeling pretty nice down south. 69 on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, low to mid-70s. And then the next system moves in, and this one could hit southern Utah, too, bringing showers widespread across the area Monday and Tuesday. And in northern Utah, temperatures uh, will stay below normal for the next two days. But I think we will see an increase in sunshine uh, once we get through tomorrow morning. So lots of sunshine to look forward to. But you're just going to want to get the jackets and the clubs back out again. Uh, this weekend, though, spring it comes back. It returns. And we'll be back to the low mid-60s with partly cloudy skies before the next storm moves in on Monday.